blast him on the street. Right, leave, What's leave, happening, leave. everybody? J Shock Blast here. Really I apologize in advance. I've been struggling with my software. Know, Had a lot of requests to do an all vehicles video, and the apologies are if there is any crackle in the video. But we're going to roll with it, Another see what we can do, uh, because I officially have 100% completion. 100% completion is required in order to unlock all of the vehicles in lego marvel superheroes 2 uh, we've got th three and a half rows of vehicles uh, looks like uh, we've got roughly 12 24 36 and uh, 38 so uh, first up we have a taxi and i don't really think you guys care about the taxi uh, it's just a taxi it's a yellow taxi car. So we are not going to worry too much about showing that one off. Um, but we're going to do the same thing for the saloon. <laughs> we're going to park that right there. Again, it's literally the taxi. Uh, just without the sign and the paint. Uh, next up, we have a snowmobile. You will actually use the snowmobile at one point in the game uh this is something that you will use uh on the second level i mean very briefly uh, it's a snowmobile whatevs uh i guess we'll move up to here what would New Ava York i think we might be able to get all the vehicles out in one place on so there you go uh that is the uh the snowmobile turn the game audio down so hopefully that's not too bad now uh, you have the mobster getaway car. Put that right there. Uh, there's nothing special about this vehicle. Uh, and I think we actually kind of blew it up there. So it's just another vehicle that you're going to see driving around town a lot. So there you go. A lot of these are pretty generic. You've got the mobster heist car. Gwen pulls in the way. A new change that they made with LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 is that you can actually put vehicles out from anywhere. No more of the pads that you have to go to in order to actually unlock the vehicles, uh, which is awesome. It's very much like uh, LEGO City Undercover. Uh, finally, we have a very interesting vehicle. Uh, we've got the Quinjet from Civil War. Here it is, the Avengers Quinjet. So we'll go ahead and fly this bad boy around. Uh, flight is still not their strength. Uh, honestly, the vehicles are cool to unlock, but at the same time, they are, uh, they're they're kind of pointless. I would not do a race in a vehicle. Um, if you can beat the races in a vehicle, uh, you're better than me because uh, I cannot, so. There is the Civil War Quinjet. Just throw it there, crash it wherever you want to. Alright, so uh, next up we have the Avenjet. <laughs> so this is the Avengers Jet. Uh, it's got them propeller wings. Looks pretty cool. Not a step. AV12112. So. Oh, it does shoot stuff. I bet the Quinjet shot stuff too. I neglected to attempt that. Goons, bad guys, villains, crooks, this is Darkhawk requesting flyby. That's a negative Ghost Rider. All right, so next up we have the Cree Cruiser, and this is kind of like a futuristic floating, floating floats vehicle. And uh, the Cree obviously are from another world, and uh, where they're going, they don't need roads. So this obviously, when you do see this flying around a lot. Uh, you're going to basically see it sticking to the road. 
I guess there's some that you'll see kind of in the like the distance and and whatever, but you don't typically get that close to any of these air vehicles. So this is the Cree Cruiser. Eat water. It floats. <laughs> I wonder if you can uh, if you can use it. I haven't tried it. I wonder if you can do it with races. So. Uh, next, you have the Egyptian, Egyptian Chariot, and comes with horse. Uh, try winning a race with this. Oh, I wonder if he can go over that ramp. Dude, this is what Santa must feel like. <laughs> so this is the Egyptian Chariot. And, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. Uh, it does not shoot anything. The horse does not spit at anything. So, there you have it. The Egyptian chariot. Straight out of Assassin's Creed origin. This is like Lego Assassin's Creed. Uh, next up we have the Hydra attack plane. Uh, this is what you use in the level where you uh, fight Baron Zemo. some kind of a projectile <laughs> and apparently it can like hover in midair so there you have it uh, oh wow interesting so there you go the Hydra attack plane uh, next up, we have the Attilan Podship. This is obviously the Inhumans vehicle of choice. And... Booyakasha. It does not also shoot lasers. It handles okay. You know what? Honestly, I'm not used to the 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 thumbsticks actually will work with the um, to make them fly and, and maneuver and everything without pushing like A and B and and C and D or whatever buttons you're using. Here's the Atalan Air Breezer. This is when you want to go out on a Sunday stroll leisurely. Yeah, all right, wow. See, I don't, like I said, I don't use vehicles that often. It does not shoot anything. Uh, I do not use vehicles very often, so I wasn't really aware that you could literally just lift off with it. You can use all the thumbsticks and whatever. You do not actually. Uh, you can still use, uh, like, X and circle and A and B to go up and down, and that's typically how I do it. But uh, there you go. So that's the first row. On the second row, we have the Z Zandarian Distributor, which is uh, just a little Zandarian vessel. It's a vessel. Looks like this is... Uh... Nope. Whoa, whoa. Did not mean to do that. Ending up down here. Zandarian Racer. Alright. So there you go. There's the Zandarian. I don't want to really spend too much time with some of the like kind of more forgettable vehicles. I know a lot of you guys want to see stuff like the Milano. Uh, here's the Airstreamer 3000. Um... I don't know if they spawn in different colors every time. I think that might be what's happening here. I think the colors are just kind of random. Yeah. So, each time that you spawn one, you're going to get a different color. Or maybe it's just one of... Uh, one of two colors. I don't know. It 
does have a whistle. Or a uh, horn. <laughs> a whistle. So. So there you have it. It's basically like the other, uh, the other air cruiser. Oh, you got a horse and a cart. <laughs> Obviously, this is from the Old West. Call this the Shaggin' Wagon. Uh, children, do not ask what that means. Uh, not the best place for this. Not the best Somebody place for this. Uh, so... If you ever wanted to know it... <laughs> Alright, so if you ever want to know what like driving an 18-wheeler is like, that's it right there. Alright, so... General Ross's tank. Whoops. Now here, I was very excited when I saw that General Ross had a tank. Um, but Red Hulk does not fit in it. And that's what I was kind of excited about. Is possibility of Red Hulk being in it. Uh, it does say Smash 77KOJN. It has some warning stickers. It looks like it has some gunnery. And here's the thing. I've seen that there are some some of these vehicles that only certain characters can get in. So we get Red Hulk. Oh. Oh, he can just pick it up and throw it. That's what happened the last time. All right, so let's go ahead and put it down again. And now, if we transform to General Ross, now this I do not love, okay, if this is the case. I feel like anybody should be able to use this vehicle. Uh, but now even General Ross can't get in it. So I don't know what this is all about. I, I have experienced this with one other vehicle, and I can't quite figure out, like, like how do you actually use it? So like you could stand on it, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Ross da boss. Uh, <laughs> so I mean it's pretty cool though. I mean that's all that matters, I suppose. Uh, we're out with. Uh, let's we'll get some different people in here. Let's get uh let's get Electro 2099 in here on the action. So that's oh well, all right. Well let's actually get somebody else in here because this is Ghost Rider's motorcycle. And if we're going to have Ghost Rider's motorcycle, I think we should have Ghost Rider, the Hellraiser himself. And uh, if I could spell, we see the FG. Ghost Rider. All right. So this is a, a, a motorcycle that's basically unlocked for you, like right out of the gate. And you actually, you do have to actually spend money to buy it, but you don't actually have to unlock it. So, we'll get on it with Ghost Rider. It is incredibly slow and difficult to actually navigate. So, you're going to notice there are some races that ask you to use a motorcycle. Um, you don't want to use this one. You want to unlock Captain America's motorcycle. I tried doing the race that takes you this way. Baruta! It was terrible. I mean, it drives pretty okay right now, but like, watch when I try to take this corner. Ready for it? You know what to do. I mean, I I did a full like kind of turn there too, so uh, it's not very agile. It's a little clunky, but I mean, it's Coast Rider's motorcycle. It's possible. Yeah, see now it's just stuck. So. Uh, sad, but it is what it is. So let's get out of Noir. I don't, I love the Noir level. Do not like showing stuff off in it because of the coloring. Uh, so next up we have the Shocker's Van. Straight out of Spider-Man Homecoming. And I guess if we're going to have Shocker's Van, we should have the Shocker. Uh, there he is. None of those losers. So there you go. It's got some scuffs on it. 
It's got how's my driving? Shocking. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Now you do have to smash 200 vehicles uh, throughout the city. So the shocker's van is uh, probably one that I'd recommend. It's not my favorite, that is for sure. Uh, I actually like it a lot. This is actually the first time I've actually used it. So this will definitely help your case for destroying 100 vehicles. So there you have it, the shocker's van. Uh, next up, you have the Asgardian Skith. And I don't know why it won't let me put it anywhere. Maybe I have to destroy this one. That doesn't make any sense. Alright. The Asgardian Skith. We'll come back to the Asgardian skiff. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on there. Maybe it's just in, like Egypt. We have the Octomech. There we go. And for the Octomech, we should get Auto Octavius. Now, he does actually get in it. Um, Dr. Octopus. Which is a little <laughs> funny, considering how big he is in this game. But he does retract. Like He's practically bigger than the vehicle. Um... It does not fly. It does not shoot anything. It's just kind of there. Uh, we're going to go to Asgard with the Asgardian skiff and hope that maybe that's what requires, uh, is required, is to be in Asgard. And we'll pick my favorite Asgardian Thor. Let's go up on the Rainbow Bridge. And let's try the Asgardian Skiff now. Oh, it's a water vehicle. Interesting. Now, a lot of these vehicles you do have to unlock. Um, oh, wait, what? See, that's what I thought. So Gwenpool flies in on this in the Surtur level. So tour, and I don't know why you have. So you have to put it down on water. I wonder if it lets you do the water race, like the Loki water race is somewhere over here. And finding a good vehicle for it, there's only one Captain Stacy's boat. Um, but I don't know what's going on. It's not. It's not spawning it. Should be somewhere around here. The draw distance is uh, a little limited. Oh, there it is. Ooh. If we can get it to stop. All right, I've had enough of that. That's the Asgardian skiff. So we're gonna fly over this bridge. We're gonna get in on. The Miniature Avenget. So this is for single use. One person. Obviously the regular Avengejet. Uh, I don't know that you can actually get more than one person to go into it. But it's... Uh, it still looks like it's made for more than one person. So... So there you go, there's the mini Avenged Jets. Uh, next up we have Black Panther's Jet. And we are going to use Black Panther to fly it. It is pretty cool looking. Uh, I haven't actually spawned it out yet, I only unlocked it. So, there it is, it shoots itself some... Uh, some green projectiles. And 
I'm going to shake their hand. It does look really off. cool. Well, okay. It looks kind of like a, I don't know, like some kind of a modified F-16 or something, or a little bit of a modified. Uh, it's like a cross between the Blackbird, the X-Men's like Blackbird, and a Quinjet kind of. Touchy subject, I know, but uh, next up we have Black Widow's motorbike, and I believe you unlock this. Um, this is one of the easiest to unlock. Um, I actually do not remember how we unlock it, so uh, I do have videos for it, a video recorded when I did unlock it, so you can get that. Um, I used the Black Widow motorbike. I think it was something simple like going to all of the uh, the terminal hubs and sinking in with them in Chronopolis. It was, it was one of the simpler achievements or tasks to do. So there she is. Now here's what I love about this motorcycle. I use this in all my races. It shocks people as you drive by them. Which is phenomenal as far as I'm concerned, right? Um, so this is basically the the motorcycle that you end up watching me do basically all my races with. So Black Widow and her motorcycle. And we have Captain America's jet. Ooh, that looks like a, an A-10 almost. Uh, so for this, we're actually going to use... Captain America Peggy Carter. Captain Steve Rogers, though. Please calm him. So this is a pretty cool looking jet. I like it a lot. Wow, it even like has nice little stars that kinda come out of the back of it. Ooh, I wish you could blow up that tram. I suppose you could use the jets to uh, to destroy some uh, some actual vehicles towards your achievement of destroying 100 vehicles. Uh, so there you have Captain America's jet. Next up, we are on row number three. We have Captain America's motorbike, uh, another one of the, the vehicles that you have to unlock uh, by by doing some of the challenges across the city. Um, I do not honestly remember which one it is, but what we'll do is we'll compile a list in uh, in the description eventually. Um, maybe over the course of time, uh, you will end up having the list there, but there are all the challenges you have to complete, and I just did not keep track well enough. But uh, there is Captain America's motorbike. Um, actually, does it shoot anything? Yeah, it does shoot stuff. So there you go, Captain America and the motorbike. Uh, so there's that. Uh, next up we have Captain America's 4x4. Now this is one that I actually used in all the races that ask you to use a van. Uh, this is just happened to be what I had unlocked, the task force. Uh, I know Misty Knight's race requires you to use a van. I don't think this was a very difficult one to unlock. I'm pretty sure I unlocked this one pretty early. Um, but I, again, I don't remember which one. Um, check out the description in the video um, or the pin comment at some point because I'm sure I will remember and start putting together a list. Also, if you guys have unlocked any of these vehicles, feel free to say how you unlocked them uh, in the, the, the video and I will accredit you in... Uh, in there so we have the daily bugle helicopter i'm not going to fly this around i'm just going to show you the daily bugle helicopter so here it is uh you got the daily bugle helicopter and it's a helicopter it flies like one it does not shoot anything there's no special kind of like perk to it what are the so. weather settings today so there you go, the Daily Bugle helicopter. Uh, next we have Gwenpool's bike. And I unlocked this very, very late. So this was one of the harder ones to do. I want to say it was for doing all the trivia. 
um, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll show this off a little bit more in my individual Gwenpool video. Uh, you can see she's got a little uh, G with a bunny and a duck on it. And she shoots stuff with it. So that is do. Be nice if I could find a, uh, a nice little ramp or something to uh, do a little tricky roo on it. But so that race right there was for Vormund. And I believe it does require you to use a motorcycle. And ooh, we almost made it. So anyway, that is Gwenpool's motorcycle. Not to be confused with Deadpool's scooter. Rackets going on down in the maintenance tunnels. Uh, next up we have Hydra Interceptor. Now, there's two Hydra planes here. Uh, one of, I think the first one we showed you was flown by Baron Zemo. I think this is the one that we fly with Star-Lord and Captain America in the story. It's one or the other. So in case you have something in the air you want to shoot, you get the Hydra Interceptor. Alright. Next on our list... Uh, I'm gonna come back to that one. This is the deep sea hydra. Eh, whatever. We'll just put it on. Actually, no, we won't because we're in, in the middle of a. Right. Uh, we're in the middle of an area that can't uh, put it out. So what we will do though is we will put out the mob boss attack car. We'll go this way. Now this is a vehicle I have not been able to use yet, but my buddy Pack Attack told me. The reason why I cannot get anybody into it is because only one character can actually get into it. And that's this guy right here, the Kingpin. No. This is the Kingpin's Kingpin attack car. And it's got some sweet, sweet miniguns. may use that as the thumbnail <laughs> uh, because he has way too much joy in shooting those things so um, character doesn't normally matter but I like to have a flying character out so uh, there you have it next up on our list is oh Lola la 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 Lola and you know what that means even though I just took Hobgoblin out, we gotta go to Agent Coulson. This is Agent Coulson's baby girl. This is Lola. Ooh, that would make a pretty sick, uh, pretty sick screenshot as well. So uh, Lola is his flying vehicle, uh, his flying car. I know a lot of people were disappointed that Clark Gregg did not reprise his role as the voice actor, but uh, I, I have to imagine that's just going to make things a little more expensive uh, for all of us. So it is what it is, but Lola is in the game, and that is uh, all that matters. Uh, let's actually go ahead and just do this deep sea hydro diver. So we can just drop it right there, and it's going to go in the water. This vehicle is a water vehicle, and it is, uh, you know, it, it'll go underwater. Uh, there we go. This is the fastest I've seen it go. It is not good. This was like the first vehicle that I unlocked, I think. Um, and it was the only vehicle I had to try to do races with, but it was so slow it could not do it. Uh, now I'm just having trouble keeping it up above the water. Yeah. 
see how slow it is? I missed one. I mean, I, you know, honestly, it's it's not a vehicle you really want to use. You're better off getting uh, Captain Stacy's boat, which I do already have a video up for. Um, let's actually just go ahead and show off Captain Stacy's boat right now. Was it? 97. Last count. Oh, that dude right there. Oops. Is part of the story. Uh, there's like a, a quest you have to do. You have to like take his picture for J. Jonah Jameson. Uh, it's his quest. Okay. He's doing, he just constantly does laps around Chronopolis. So this boat is way easier to use, obviously. And this is definitely what you want to use for your, your races. Uh, in the water. There's only really two races that are in the water that you need it for. Uh, so there you go. Uh, next up we've got not Spider-Man Noir. Star Lord, legendary outlaw. Oops. And he got that feeling. You know why he's got that feeling? Because somebody got him his new vehicle. That is right, the Milano. A lot of people have been asking about the Milano, and there it is. You can fly your Lego Milano. How cool is that? You got, oh, no, no. Uh, it does look like it's a little fickle. There we go. So there is the Lego Milano. We're almost done here. Ooh, <laughs> just knocks him right off. That's awesome. So crash, crash and burn. That is your Milano. And next up we have the Star Blaster. This is the Zandarian uh, Novacore vehicle. And it could shoot stuff too. You've got bad guys causing trouble nearby. Oh, they make me so mad. So there you have it. All right, we are down to the last row, and we have Taserface. Taserface has his own airship. How crazy is that? So I guess we gotta get Taserface, or I'm not gonna say what else Rocket said he should be called. So Taserface has his own ship. It would be funny if it just blew up randomly. I think it's funny. Uh, now, I don't know. I'm assuming that this must be a Lego set. Um, maybe it's not. But I was always under the impression that the vehicle, all the stuff that they do is typically like some kind of a Lego set. Uh, so that is Taserface, his little jet. Uh, here you have the Roxan, Roxon truck. And, I mean... We'll get in it and see if it shoots anything, but I mean, it's just an oiler rig. I don't know why anybody would want to drive this around. I mean, it does have a pretty sick horn, but there you go. It's the Roxxon truck. All right, we have the Necrocraft. And... If I'm being honest, I don't 100% know what this one goes to. It's clearly evil, though. So there is the Necrocraft. 
Uh, we've got three vehicles left. Uh, we have the police quad. I don't remember what I... Oh, I think this is the one that I actually got for doing all the trivia. Um, so there is the police quad. This is kind of like a classic, I believe. Uh, Lego City Undercover had one of these. Uh, I'll bet you can do motorcycle races with it. I doubt you can do that race. Uh, I know there's some nice jumps over here. Though. Uh, it seems as though it does not like to hit things. So, there is that. And then we have Winter Soldier's bike. And I feel like we need to get Winter Soldier for that, right? So he's got his own motorcycle. Come over here a second. No. Got a problem. So we're gonna jump this. Flat. That did not really work out. The good news is there's uh, two jumps right there. And it brings us right to where I wanted to go. Splat. So that is the Winter Soldier's motorcycle. And our last vehicle that we are going to show is going to be uh, another vehicle out of Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, we need to get Aisha because this is kind of her people's monstrosity we have the laser drill oh well, we had the laser drill actually i don't really know if this is her people's or or what but we're gonna go with it it does not want to cooperate so let's get off the roof start there great 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 if I ever meet the person who smashed up those stupid announcement speakers, I'm there we go. shake their hand till it falls off. So there is the laser drill, the final vehicle of them all. It does shoot stuff. And it does have a Guardian's logo on it. Whoa. It moves on its... Alright, it stopped. See, it moves on its own. So, Tavon. <laughs> oh, you know what? Actually, this is not hers. This is actually from Guardians 1. This is when they're, like, drilling out the uh, Celestial Head in nowhere. So, well, that is it, folks. That is all the vehicles unlocked. Uh, we have a really great uh, group of vehicles. I don't... They do not have uh, cards so it is what it is but uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video we'll see you